exterior color. The interior color is black. So we'll take a look on the outside, we'll take a look on the inside, and then we'll go over some more of the features in depth. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, but let's hop right into the video. All right, so we're gonna start at the window sticker here for the uh, 2022 Elantra N-Line manual transmission. Um, so again, this one's scarlet red pearl in color, has the black interior. 25 city, 34 highway for a combined average of 28, and then the sticker price on this vehicle is 25,675. Take a look at the wheels here. Pretty cool design. Come with the uh, N line exclusively. Got the N line badging there right above uh, the wheel well. Also, have N line badging on the front uh, fascia there, which is nice. So we got a cargo net, decent amount of cargo space. Seats fold down with the levers right here. Um, so this one's got Elantra N-Line carpet. Carpet floor mats, sorry about that. Let's see what we got under here. Hey, we have an actual spare tire, which is always nice. All right, so what we'll do now is we'll take a look at the back seats, uh, amenities and size. And then we'll take a look at the front seat. All right, so I always like starting in the back seat. Um, I'm six foot two. This uh, driver's seat is all the way back. Um, and I'm kind of nudged up against uh, the seat here, as you can see. Um, the passenger seat is about midway through. So I'll scooch over here. And I've got plenty of space. So about, I'd say about inch, inch and a half of space, which is nice. So a decent amount of space in the back room, as long as the seat isn't all the way back. As far as amenities go here in the second row, um, there aren't any. Um, no USB outlets, no ventilation. The seats um, are pretty cool looking though, in my opinion, where they've got um, the sort of two separate material um, sort of look going on. I wish there was some more N-line badging on the seat. Um, but there just isn't. Um, you got the speakers back here, cup holders, um, but that's pretty much about it. So what we'll do is we'll hop in the front seat and show you what we got going on up there. All right, so now that we're in the front seat, we do have the blind spot monitor system in both the driver and passenger mirror. Um, if we take a look down by the driver's left knee, we have the brightness control for the screens. It's already all the way up. We've got our lane keeping assist um, and then traction control. So this is going to be different in the actual uh, Elantra N, but in the Elantra N line, it's just, again, more decorative. Um, analog uh, cluster with the uh, digital screen on the far right. You can change what's displayed up in there, which is always nice. Um, keep it on the digital speedometer. Um, typical Hyundai uh, media controls here, uh, volume, mode, all that sort of stuff. Cruise control, now this one does have lane following assist, which is nice. Um, I have yet to try it in the manual, so um, I mean, I'm sure it works exactly the same, but uh, have yet to try it in this specific vehicle. Um, got the 8.25 inch um, display. Kind of wish it was a little bit bigger, but um, with it being the smaller one, you do get wireless uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, um, which I wish was on the bigger ones, but uh, that's what you get in this one. And this one does have physical buttons, not the touch sensitive buttons, which is nice, and actual knobs for volume up and down. Then we go down below, blacked out uh, start stop button, which I think is a very, very cool touch in this vehicle. So you have dual climate control, which is super nice, and heated seats, which um, definitely pretty cool. Uh, definitely is pretty sweet add-on. Um, I kind of like the coloring of the knobs too. They're kind of the sort of grayed out sort of vibe. This one does uh, does have a wireless phone charger right here, which does pair well with the wireless Apple uh, CarPlay and Android Auto, but you also have two USB outlets and a 12 volt outlet. So we'll hit the parking camera button. We'll show you what the, We've got two different um, cameras 
for the rear view camera. So this is just the regular one, but you can also get an above view sort of camera. It kind of helps when parallel parking. Normally there's trajectory lines, but since we're not actually in reverse, it's not showing the trajectory lines. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. Um, you've got your six speed manual. Um, I love, love, love um, the shifter knob. Definitely pretty cool. Um, not the biggest fan of the, uh, how much like extra leather there is here though. That's kind of uh, distracting. Down here, we've got two cup holders and a uh, your uh, parking brake, which is a manual parking brake and not electronic, which is good. And then you have um, your center console, which doesn't have much in it. And the most talked about thing in all Elantras is this bar here. No clue what it's for. Um, doesn't look, some people love it, some people hate it. It's kind of growing on me. I kind of like it now, but a lot of people complain about it. Um, up here, we have uh, auto dimming rear view uh, mirror, which is nice. Then you have your blue link, which comes on this vehicle. Your blue link buttons, as well as your uh, sunroof controls. So this one does have a sunroof, which is pretty awesome. And it does vent as well, so we'll close it and we'll vent it. It goes up, goes down, and then shuts manually, which is pretty nice. Um, so the driver's seat and the passenger seat both have N in the seat, which I really like the way that looks. Um, and then they also have the two different looking materials, which is pretty nice. And then also through the doors, they have the red stitching. Um, and then I like how the vents kind of look like they go all the way through, kind of like in the new Tucson, which is nice. Um, so what we'll do is we'll head back to the dealership. Um, I'll go over some other features and stuff that are on this. And then we'll go over warranty information. All right, folks, we made it this far. We're going to go over some of the boring stuff with the vehicle. Um, so I forgot to mention earlier that this is a 1.6 liter uh, turbocharged engine. It gets about 201 horsepower, which is pretty pretty nice. Uh, again, this is the Elantra N-Line manual transmission. It's scarlet red. Um, but we're going to go over some of the warranty information. So with the Hyundai warranty, you get the 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. You get a 5-year, 60 limited new car warranty. I also get five years unlimited roadside assistance, um, as well as three year, 36,000 mile complimentary maintenance, uh, which is just, just a few free oil changes and all that. Um, but you also get uh, a three year subscription to Blue Link, which is an app you can download to your phone. Um, you can turn the car on, off, um, lock it, unlock it anywhere. Um, as long as you have cell service, your car has cell service. Um, this one has a five star um, overall safety rating, which is nice. So some of the uh, safety features that I forgot to mention was the uh, cross traffic, uh, rear cross traffic avoidance. So it actually pulled the brake for you if somebody's coming and you can't see them. Um, it's also got um, blind spot collision avoidance assist as well. So if somebody's in your blind spot and you're trying to move over, uh, the car will actually brake and uh, make sure you don't hit that person, which is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, so this has uh, been a review of the uh, Elantra N-Line. My overall impression is it's a pretty solid little uh, manual transmission car, which are becoming harder and harder to find. Um, but uh, it'd be a great little daily driver. Gets pretty solid gas mileage, which is great. Um, and it's pretty fun to drive. Um, not a race car by any means, but it's a fun little daily driver. So if you have any questions, again, leave a comment below. Um, and I'll try to answer those as soon as I can. You guys have a great day and see you in the next one.